kind of hard to believe that Dr. Scorpio Drake had to leave so soon after she finally made her way back home. I don't suppose she gave you any insight as to why she had to leave. I know how much Robin loves her family, and if she says leaving is the right thing to do, then I have to trust that, even if I don't understand it. You don't think it has anything to do with what happened during the two years that she was gone? Her family moving on? I mean, she did come back to find Patrick ready to marry Sabrina. I know, but I can't say for sure. Mm. I just feel so bad for all of them. I mean, they tried so hard to get past it, but sometimes, no matter how hard you try, you just can't escape your past. Hello, Elizabeth. Rick, what are you doing here? Well, uh, hoping to speak to you, actually. I, I take it you two are acquainted? Felix, this is Rick Lansing, my ex-husband. And, and this is a welcome visit? Yeah. Okay, far be it for me to interfere. You haven't changed a bit, Elizabeth. Still as beautiful as ever. What are you doing here? I came to see you. You're not in the hospital here. Poor Charles here. Oh. Last I heard, you left town to end your war with your brother. Oh, I did. It was good to get away from Sonny, but my daughter lives here. I couldn't stay away forever. Besides, I wanted to see you. Me? You know, I think about you all the time, Elizabeth. <laughs> and Cameron, too. How is he? He's doing really well. Yeah? He's not a baby anymore. Has a crush on little Emma Drake. Oh, <laughs> they sure grow up fast, don't they? Yes, they do. How about your youngest? Aiden? Hmm? He's perfect. He uh, adores his older brother. Should they keep you on your toes, huh? Mm, yes, they do. Being a single mom of two little boys can run me ragged at times. Oh, I don't know about that. Like I said, I've never seen you look more beautiful. Look, I'm going to be in town for a while. You think that maybe we could grab dinner sometime? Are you asking me out? Well, that depends. Have you seen somebody? No, 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 no. Okay, it's all settled. Will you have dinner with me? Are you really asking me out? Because I don't know what to say. Look, I know a lot of stuff went down between stuff? us. Stuff? Do you just say stuff? Rick used to be a little more eloquent. He's trying to be succinct. Go on. We haven't been married for a long time. <laughs> we watched our, our children grow up. And I just like to think that, well, maybe I've grown up a little bit too. And maybe we can learn to just toss out the garbage that came between us while we rekindle what was once good. And Elizabeth, what was good between us was very, very good. Come on, what do you say? Gunshot wound, prep cubicle one. I gotta work. He's lost a lot of blood. We hung two leaders, but we gotta move fast. Okay, come on. Oh my God, AJ. Two liters of O negative stat. Page Dr. Rashi. Elizabeth, are you all right? Okay, what can I do? Better, Elizabeth, you're too close to this. You know I want to help. You can notify the family. Warn them. It doesn't look good. Please, God, please, please, please let him be okay. Hey, Elizabeth, what's up? Michael, I don't know how to tell you this, but... What, what, what is it? AJ's in the ER. He's been shot. On the next General Hospital... You don't know the first thing about me or what I'm capable of. I think maybe you should sit down. Just because you got pregnant doesn't mean I'm going to. Why are you so invested in AJ? You didn't have anything to do with this, did you? You can't just let him die. Help him! 